Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So I was inspired to make this video because apparently a lot of people like the fireside chat video. I had a lot of comments saying that they felt that that was the best video I ever did, which is funny because of course it's always those off the cuff videos that seem to resonate with people uh, in a deep, meaningful way the most. They don't always get the, the broadest appeal, but the people they do touch, they touch them in a profound way. So. I'm glad it was an inspiration for some people in that video. So there's a movie called In Time with Justin Timberlake. A really poorly casted movie, but uh, a genius science fiction idea. The idea is, is that in the future, probably not so distant future, everybody is given 25 years to live. And the more money you have, you can add money because they've mastered life extension. Maybe they've mastered uh, genetics or something like that. So basically the rich never die because all diseases are cured. So if you're rich, you live forever, but if you're poor, you don't. And the, how it works is everybody has this little timer in, embedded into their arm when they're a baby. And you're given your 25 years. And then after 25 years, I think you get a few, like a, a couple days. And from that point forward, you have to earn time by working. So it goes on that whole metaphor, time is money. Uh, it's a really genius concept to make a movie about that. It's, it's, it sucks it was so poorly executed. I mean, I think there was still some cool elements to it. There's definitely some things to be said about mortality and, and all that stuff. Because uh, the rich, of course, live forever and some of them get tired of living and they commit suicide and blah, blah, blah. So how the hell does this relate to survivalism and emergency preparedness. Well, there's this idea that shit hits the fan or the collapse is going to be demarcated by a single causal event. But there's many ways to look at that. Why I reference that movie is that within that movie, survival is very apparent to people because you have a, a timer on your arm that says, if you don't buy time in 48 hours, you're going to die. And that's how it happens. People just like, you know, it's lights out. They just fall down, they hit the ground and they show it several times in the movie where people are just picking up bodies off the street because, you know, people never, uh, never made it. And they have like time donation banks instead of food banks. Anyways, so yeah, you can see it right there that this is how much time I have left. If I don't drink water, if I don't eat, if I am a victim of violence in some way, shape or form, we all have a timer. It's just that we can't see it. But most of the things you do in your life are there to postpone death, whether that's going to work a job so you can pay your bills and live in a decent community and eat decent food, not starve to death, not succumb to different illnesses that you might uh, get if your immunity was compromised by not having a safe place to stay or living in a dingy part of town or whatever. Almost everything you do is, is survival based. We just forget that it's survival based. So what I'm trying to say is that survival doesn't start at the collapse. Survival starts right now. And survivalism for me is just a way of life. It's about how can I maximize my capabilities so that if things do get really bad, which they probably will in the not so distant future, I'm starting to think that more and more as time passes here with all of the stuff that's going on um, ecologically, especially, am I going to be in the best position I could possibly be in? This is why I always emphasize personal growth and development and survivalism can be the cure for a lot of people's bad habits. Because when you start thinking about this stuff and you start seeing how unprepared you are and how far behind the curve you are in terms of readiness for an event like that, it motivates you to start to do better for yourself. It motivates you to quit smoking. It motivates you to lose the weight. It motivates you to take on a second job, to work more so that you can maybe put away some money for some land or just put yourself in a better financial situation or get yourself out of debt. This can make you become a better person, but it's only going to make you become a better person if there's a sense of urgency. So even if you were to look at the span of how long we're going to last as a species, you know, maybe we're just as Elon Musk says, the bootloader for artificial intelligence and robotics. And our whole mission was to make those and they're going to kill us off and they're going to explore the cosmos. Maybe that's our role. 
Uh, if that was the case, our existence would be a tiny, tiny sliv sliver of the space-time continuum. I mean, even if we were around for 10 million years, which we haven't been, that would mean that, you know, on the grand scheme of things, the 12 billion years and how, who knows how long the universe is going to last, probably 100 trillion more. You know, it's going to be such a small little sliver. So the apocalypse is inevitable. Shit hits the fan, grid down. Uh, all of that is just one little footnote in that eventuality, which is eventually is going to happen. Maybe, maybe not even in our lifetimes, but at some point. So what I'm trying to say is that things are always in a state of entropy. Things are always in a state of disorder and survival is constant. Every moment of every hour of every day, your cells are <clears throat> dividing, they're surviving. You might not see that happening on a microscopic level, but it's happening right now. And your cells are fighting off all kinds of uh, bacteria. There's a war going on in everybody's bodies. So, we see it as something which is a distant thing, but in reality, it's always happening. It's always ongoing. We always have that invisible timer here that we just are not paying attention to. And that, that's why, you know, when Guy McPherson talks about living with a sense of urgency, I can respect that, even though I don't necessarily agree with his timelines of how things are going to play out in the next 10 years. I think, like most people do, he's you know, maybe exaggerating a little bit or he's being a little too pessimistic. I think it may play out like that eventually, but I think it's probably just going to be a bit more prolonged than he's saying. But we got to live with that sense of urgency. Try to make the most of yourself right now. Quit those bad habits. If you are serious about survival and preparedness, you would be amazed at what you can accomplish if you just have some self-discipline and a good work ethic. You don't have to be uh, the smartest person. You don't even have to necessarily have a burning passion to change the world, like entrepreneurial spirit. You just have to have a good work ethic and uh, be motivated and have the self-discipline to say no sometimes and postpone that gratification. And you will build yourself up. You will build your, your little empire and you will get that homestead. You will get that land and you will be able to have a self-sustaining lifestyle and hopefully even, you know, develop a little community of people around you or integrate your family somehow, bring some people close to you because you're probably going to need them. Uh, if, it, if things got down to the wire, it's going to be tribalism all over again. So anyways, guys, just something for you to think about today. Let me know what you think in the comments. I got to go for a run. People are saying, putting on a little weight. So you know what? The haters... The haters uh, are motivating me. So, you know, I'm going to prove you wrong once again. It's easy to lose weight, man. You just, you know, the, the key to it all is going to bed hungry. And I can't, I can't emphasize that point enough. If you're going to bed and you're hungry and you resist the urge to take that one little bite before you go to bed, your body is going to start eating itself. The bad parts of itself, hopefully. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Canadian Prepper out. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.